Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to try and um, create some wah wah like effects to use on guitar and, well, any instrument you could use it on. And then I'm going to gradually um, put more complicated EQs and automation in to create some more complex types of filter effects. So I'll just play you a little bit of a bare guitar on its own before I start um, doing stuff to it. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go to effects, go to rear EQ. Um, I'll just get rid of the band freeze, I don't need that there. And um, then I'm just going to do a bit of high pass there and low pass at the end. And then on the band filter here, I'm going to make it really obvious. I'm going to bring it in a bit more narrow here. Okay, so. I'm going to duplicate this now and do another one, but I won't use this yet. So I'll just do this for the moment. Now, the I'll just make sure I touch this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate this so it moves the filter up and down. So go to parameter, parameter modulation link. I'm going to start with using an LFO. Uh, okay, you can see it moving about already. Um, I'll s do s move it down a bit on the speed. And what what I can what you can also do is you can tempo sync it. This is on the sign, so I'll leave this on here for the moment. So now I'll just play a bit, and you can hear hear, hear what it does. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is make it a bit more complex. I'm going to actually side chain in the actual volume level and use that to control the filter as well. So it's not just straightforward backwards and forwards. So you just need to go to here, tell it what it's coming in. And then I'll need to probably adjust these a little bit. So I'll try that. I'll try playing that now. You won't see this till you get some volume coming through. <laughs> Okay, so um, I've got that going now on one track. So now what I'm going to do is on this other track is I'm going to um, select this one and then I'm going to automate this, but I'm going to do it slightly differently on this one. So I'll get rid of this one just to avoid confusion. Actually, I just need to s s select here so that it's, no, nope, I want to be on here. Parameter modulation link. Okay, so this one I will use an LFO again. But I'm going to use, I'll, I'll sync it in here, I'll make it a bit slower again, and I'm going to use a different type of um, shape. I'll use a triangle, so it's got a slightly different move to it. And also, I'm going to center it so it's moving differently. So it's just using on these bits, so it's not doing the same thing. And then what I'll do, is I'll put the original one over here so you can see different ones going at the same time. So I don't know how this will sound, I'll try it. Okay, that's more interesting. It still sort of makes sense because I've got the tempo sync on it, so they're linked in. Um, so what else you can do is if I go to rear EQ1, is you can do it so that it, um, oh, hang on, it's over here, isn't it? So uh, on here, in fact, I'll move this one back in here just so you can more easily see it. Or I'll just move it over here. And then I'm going to go to the routing and I'm going to do this one so that it only goes um, off to the left channel for one. And then on the other one, 
I'm going to go to routing and I'm going to do it so that it only goes to the right channel. So now you'll get it different things on different sides. Just play a little bit of that. <laughs> Okay, so this starts to get a bit more interesting, but now what I'm going to do, to remember which is the second one. Yes, it's track two, is I'm going to move down if I can stop it. In fact, I'll have to turn it off here, so I have to go track two if I just stop that so I can do it. And then I'm going to move this so that it's a different type of filter and I'm going to make it much wider. So then you've got a high one and a slow one going at the same time. So I'll turn that back on. So what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try it on a different track, which is just more clean guitar, and let's see what that sounds like. So you can see the different ones going side by side. Ah, I've got to move these over. So what I can do is I can just move the whole lot over to here, and then it'll apply it on here. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some ideas, things to try. So you can see you can get more and more complex for routing. You can have um, use different types of um, shapes. You can go different directions. You have different strengths and you can use multiple ones so they overlap. So another quite popular effect is to have them so they just move slightly over in the middle or they do it gets louder, they merge together. Um, yeah, so yeah, hopefully that's given you a few ideas of things to play without to play with. I've got um, quite a few videos if you want to check out some other stuff on Reaper or just some other music stuff generally. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.